So what is up? I am Randy, and welcome to another Duck Profile. And today we're going to be showcasing a, a somewhat competitive Odd Eyes build. Like, I say, since the nerf of Astrograph, uh, I say Pendulum Magicians in general have taken a big hit. And I decided to tweak my Odd Eyes slightly a bit, adding, actually investing into an Electromite since it's come down since its massive price. Like, when this card was, like, at its max, it was, like, $80. Now it's down to 20-some bucks. So it's it's a lot more affordable than it used to be. But let's just get right into the deck profile. And first off, we're going to do your generic Odd Eyes engine stuff. I mean, we have your three Odd Eyes Pendulums. I mean, it's nothing much more to say. If it's in the monster, it can, uh, say, uh, say do any battle damage. So it's your opponent is doubled, so which is good. And then he has a... A scaled effect where he can pop himself during the end phase to search out another, uh, say, Pendulum Monster, which is nice because it can trigger off Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. And, and plus, he's just a good like thing just to put in your scales. But I uh, say most of the time you're going to be, uh, say, popping him for, for this guy's effect, which is Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Now, he is basically your instant special summon from the deck. Like, if, as soon as one of your Odd Eyes monsters is destroyed, either by its own. It's, it's either by its own effect like Pendulum or by Sky Iris or by any other effect. Instant special summon, uh, say, from the deck from an Odd Eyes monster. So he is great to get that, uh, say, say, uh, say one of these guys on board. I uh, say either, I uh, say also one Odd Eyes Lancer and also, I uh, say, Odd Eyes Dissolver. Now, Odd Eyes Lancer is good because if he battles no spell or traps, he's a 3,000 beater. So I uh, say before he was used to get over Masterpiece, now he's just a 3K beater. I mean, he's, he's a big guy. And then you have, I uh, say, Dissolver, which. He is good because he can go into your fusion plays to get your vortex out and whatnot. So, and plus, he's a good defense, 26 defense. He has a force scale, which is good because then you can use the scale ability to fuse anyway. So, he's good. Next, we're going to go into the survivor of the ban list is Chronograph Magician. He is just in here for that extra summon. I do not use uh, the brick for him. I uh, forgot what it was. Time Gazer. I don't use the brick for him because most of the time I'm never scaling him unless I do not have a high scale. But mostly, I'm just using him to get that extra special, those those two extra special summons. They say him and something else out. I mean, he's great for that, so if you want to put more pressure on board or more, say, bodies on board to get links going or get a fusion out, he's your guy to go into. Next, we're going to go into more of the, the meta stuff. We have your Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. I rock three of them. I've seen some builds that rock two. It's all about preference, basically. But he's good because uh, the only reason why he's in this deck is a free special summon. It, it, say, if he's in scale, instant special summon. I say right off the bat. He's basically your Dark Worm if you don't have a Dark Worm. And, but, um, I mean, he's not like Dark Worm because he can't search, but he's still a free special summon, which is never a bad thing. Two rescue hamsters. Some people rock one. I think I like two. Three is too much. Two is perfect because then you can, I say, get, I uh, say, your two abyss actors back, your two dark worms back, or your two persona dragons back. It's good to get, let's say, more materials for your link plays or fusions. It's just, it's just one of those extra. It's it's just that little turbo card that makes you get going. Then we got your uh, your gates and then your dark worms, of course. Of course, you have to have this. This is basically, an, it's a semi-turbo engine. Basically, it gets you a, a free search, and it's a special summon if you foolish it or shrine it, which is nice. Then we got your three personas. This is one of your negates, because this can get up to a four, I, I, I say negate and board, which is nice, like four interruptions. I mean, if you tweak it some more, you probably could get five out of it, but I say five is really stretching it, but four is just perfect enough for it and so you get this and there's a couple other combos i'll show you uh, i say the board that you normally want to have after this deck profile so you have persona dragon i say he's the negate for special summon extra deck monsters he's a disruption bam and plus he's also a good low scale too i mean he's he's, he's a one which is great then we have the two more odd ice phantoms he's a good 2500 beater I mostly just use them to, I uh, say, exceed out for Absolute to get that, uh, say, Vortex on board to link off with Electromite to get Decode out. So so he's mostly in here just for that 7. Now we're going to go to your spells. Your spells are very simple for this deck. I mean, they're basically almost all searches. You have three Duelist Alliance to, uh, say, say get your extra piece. If you don't have an, a Pendulum or an Arc, you can get the other one, fetch it real quick. Then you have your Spiral Flame Strike. This is a great searcher because it searches, but also can pop something. So if you have something that's troubling you on the a board, you can just pop it. And then you have your last uh, search, well, your searcher and popper to get things going. Your Sky Iris, of course, this is your generic Odd Eyes setup. And then two Terraforming as well. So you're basically, you're rocking five Sky Irises, 
which you know I say the more the merrier the more odds you get for your actual style going and for your draw power you get two alerts simple simple I mean a lot of this deck is dark so then we got one foolish I mean what not one foolish one dragon shrine then a foolish burial this is the stuff you dump off your dark worms with it's generic. I see some people rock three Dragon Shrines. It's, I think that's a little overdone. I mean, I mean, if you want to rock two, that's fine. I mean, two won't I won't affect anything. But a Foolish is great. Then you got more draw, Upstart, and then Odd Eyes Fusion, just in case. I uh, say so your other ways of getting your Vortex out kind of fall through or you don't get it. It's just one of those other cards you can draw out to get your Vortex option going. Now we're going to go into your extra deck. Of course, Electromite. I will have two. Bump them up at two. One is enough to get things going. Two will extend it some more. Like I said, you can get that possible maybe fifth negate out. But I say with a second Electromite. But one, I say one is enough to get four out. Easy. So it's not negate. It's just disruption. So we have one Electromite and one Decode. I know it's a simple link setup, but this is really all what you need. I mean, you can add other link monsters. You can add Firewall, Bilbora Load. I say the other expensive link monsters, but me personally, I mean, I'm a budget player. So these two are great. Like me, forking out 20 bucks for Electromite was tough enough. I'm going to buy another one because I like how he can get things going. I want to see if two maybe extends some stuff more. But this is all the links I have running right now. I mean, I will throw the Nightmare Engine in, like Griffin, Unicorn, a Goblin, uh... Uh, uh, what's the other one? Phoenix, and there's one more Cerberus. I will throw those in too because I mean, the, I mean the Nightmare cards are great. So then we have your fusions, two vortexes, because why the hell not? That's your I say one of your negates you definitely want a Sarvin Venom just to get another big beater, and then Performal Pell Gatling Ghoul. I mean, I mean he is like that situational fusion. Like I mean, if you want to go into him during the situation, the time is right, go for it. Yeah, absolute. I mean, he's there just to fetch your Vortex, and this is another way to get your Vortex out. A big eye, because it's big eye, I mean. Then we have Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion, and then also Odd Eyes Meteor Burst. He is just literally in here for the the special summon effect off in the gate, so, so you have an Odd Eyes monster out, so you can use it for fusion, or not fusion, but you, uh, uh, something, you can use it for something. I know, I think, how's gate word? You can't link with, no, you let me be right back here. Yeah, with gate you can't uh, you can't synchro or exceed with it. So yeah, so yeah, he's basically in here for that fusion material to get vortex out for that odd eyes thing. If if no if thing if you don't have an odd eyes actually out. So with this deck, the board that you really mostly want to go into is usually you have a decode out. Uh, so the board that I normally want to push is decode. Then over here you get your vortex. Then you you get your Persona Dragon out of the way of the Decode's Link. Like, he's not in the Link Zone. He's, like, off to the side. And then, normally, what I like to go into, I like to go into Lancer just to get that big guy on board. And when I battle, no spell or traps. So, basically, you can negate a special effect monster. You can negate a spell or trap. And then anything targets, you have two negates from Decode because, as I say, Odd Eyes Lancer and Vortex are in those Link Arrows. Which is great. It's a four negate. I mean, there's better four negate combos out there, but this is something for odd eyes that you don't see from odd eyes normally, which is kind of impressive. I mean, I mean, Astrograph will be missed because that was the big combo player for a lot of pendulum decks. I mean, a lot of people thought that this was going to get banned and that would just stall almost all pendulum decks because that, I mean, I mean, it wouldn't just screw magicians over or odd eyes over. It would screw a lot of pendulum decks over. But. This is like the base of what you can make an Odd Eyes deck become. Like I said, I, I say I say most of these deck profiles I make are just like a guideline for you to make at home a deck that's based off in it, or like I give you a good idea on what to start with in a in a deck. But this has been the Odd Eyes deck profile. I tested it a little bit. I mean, it does show promise. I do like how it does get four gates out. It does catch people off guard. It is nice. I mean, if like I said, it's just one of those things that I didn't expect to like see Odd Eyes actually like this. I, I don't know about it. I mean, I'm hoping we do get some of those uh, those other Odd Eyes monsters that are in the OCG, but but who knows? We're gonna get those. But this has been an Odd Eyes deck profile. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever and whenever you're watching this. Until my next video. Bye bye. Oh yeah, and also if you want to see any other type of deck profile, like if you want to see something else, or if you want to see unboxings or pack openings or whatever. Leave down in the comments and, all, and, and let me know what other type of content you would like to see. I mean, I want to try to branch out besides just deck ruffles. I mean, at the current moment, this is all what I can really do. But like I said, I, th I thought about doing maybe some set openings. But 
that's just something. But until my next video, bye bye.